Hi guys, my name is Bethany and this is A Fae in the Life. Today we're going to be making my zero point pasta sauce with the option to add meat for three points. I'm pretty picky when it comes to my pasta sauce so I always prefer making my own versus buying one at the store. This recipe is super easy to make and makes eight servings. On personal points, you even gain back a point for veggies. You can even modify the recipe to add meat. We like to splurge a little and use the 93% lean ground beef. Using the ground beef makes each serving three personal points for us. If you use 99% fat-free ground turkey or chicken, you can keep this sauce zero points if those are zero point foods for you. This sauce is a great base for you to truly make your own. Feel free to add additional veggies like mushrooms or even spinach. Let's go ahead and get started. The recipe is listed down below, but here's what you'll need for the pasta sauce. One chopped onion, two tablespoons of garlic, salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, Italian seasoning, 28 ounces of canned crushed tomatoes, if you're going to add meat to the sauce, you can use 99% fat-free ground chicken or turkey or 93% lean ground beef. Start off by heating some cooking spray on medium heat. Add your onion, garlic, and seasonings. Mix well. Stir often until the onions are translucent. If you are making the meat sauce, add one pound of ground meat in now. Break it up with your spoon and cook until done. Drain off any excess fat or liquid once it's done cooking, then add it back to the pan and return to the stove. Both sauces are the same from here on out. Add in the crushed tomatoes and stir well. Lower your heat to a simmer and stir frequently until the sauce thickens to your liking. You can make this sauce ahead and store it in the fridge in a sealed container for about a week or keep it in the freezer for about a month. This sauce can be great on homemade pizza or in any pasta dish. I like to use it in my baked CD, my lasagna, and my stuffed shells. I hope you try this sauce for yourself and that you also try some variations. Really make it your own. Comment down below if you've made this recipe and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more recipes like this one. Thanks for stopping by today, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.